Hi everyone. So it's been a while that I've done a cleaning video on here and I thought today is the day that I'm going to work on the kitchen and living room especially. Um, getting that cleaned up and maybe adding a few new decorations. Uh, the windows are really dirty. I'll probably work on those. But basically just a general cleaning. I'll take you with me as I work on it. And I hope you guys can tell how much cheer that brings into a room just to get it cleaned up. Maybe display a fresh bouquet of flowers. Well for me that just uh, does wonders in my life. If I walk into my house and it's clean, it smells good. So a few of my favorite things to use when cleaning is first of all this Dyson sweeper. I could not be without. I do have a rain sweeper that I use for you know deep cleaning but just for everyday general cleaning I love my Dyson sweeper and I'll link it down below in the description box in case you're looking for one um, I will warn you they're not cheap but it's been so worth it for me to save up for one um, I've had it for probably about two or three years I absolutely love it and then I am a Norwex product fan I have the Norwex mop here and then the Enviro cloth and the polishing cloth combined I use for my windows. Could not be without these. These are probably my favorite Norwex product together. And then I have the dusting mitt. And also I've talked about this paste before. It smells so good and I realize it's geared more towards your maybe hard to remove stains or spots. Uh, but I just like to add it to my uh, just a regular uh, Norwex cloth that I you know, dampen and then use some of the paste uh, for my kitchen appliances and around the sink and even the countertop. Um, I do want to warn you, you have to be careful though on what surfaces you use it on. I always kind of test first before I just apply a whole bunch. But again, it doesn't take much just to get that fresh smell in here. So I'll flip the camera around and show you how it looks on an everyday basis. It's looked worse, I gotta say, but it can definitely look better. So let's get to work. The counter spaces are always kind of cluttered around here most of the time, so I'll probably straighten those up before I start cleaning. And then of course there's dishes to wash, and no, I don't have a dishwasher. I wash everything by hand. We got this rolled ice cream machine for my son for his birthday. He absolutely loves it. He uses it almost daily, but I'm not sure where I'm going to store it. Let's see if I can find a space for it. Twinkle is relaxing here on the carpet. I think I've fed him like five times this morning and he keeps following me around like he wants something. Probably didn't give him the right thing. I've been wanting to hang up this cutting board that's sitting on the shelf. It does roll off sometimes being that it's round. And if you like the board, it is available to buy on the Peddler's website. Um, it is an item from my new product line. Uh, comes in two different styles, the round one like this and then also a rectangle. Um, I love the color of them and the character of the wood.
I've got a spot here on the counter that I think comes from maybe a label or a box or something. And I'm gonna see if I can remove it using the Norwex paste. Perfect, this stuff is amazing. Over here on the island, there's another one. Uh, this one looks a little bit worse. Let's see what happens here. I get a lot of questions about the grids or the grills in our windows and they are old probably early 90s maybe windows and it's right around the time when Anderson still did this instead of putting the grids you know in between the glass they would put them on the outside like a snap-in uh, type of grid and trust me I'm not really fond of them um, especially in the past I have memories of just struggling to get them back in but over the years, some of the little pegs have broken off, so they're actually easier to put back in. Uh, but it's always kind of a pain to take them out, you know, clean them, and then put them back in. And I know I could leave them out. In fact, just today, MB told me she kind of likes to see them out. Um, I think it would really, you know, brighten things up in here. But for some reason, I just feel like there's something about it, like a country charm or something with, you know, having them in there. Um, I just can't really get myself to keep them out. Maybe one of these times I'll try it. You know, I can always put them back in then if I don't like it, but uh, for now I'll just probably clean them and put them back in. As I was cleaning here, I noticed the light shades are really dusty. I'm gonna take those off and clean them.
to clean the floor, I just wet the mop, uh, wring it out as hard as I can so it doesn't streak. And then just every now and then as I'm mopping, I'll uh, re-wet it, kind of rinse it out. To dust, I usually dampen one side of my dusting mitt and the other side I leave dry in case I want to dust something using a dry mitt. I've been wanting to create some type of a candle holder, something that looks uh, kind of rustic with maybe old barn wood. Um, just a little stand of sorts to set a candle on because as you know I love my candles and I'm usually burning one somewhere. So here I'm using some old barn wood, um, cutting it to the right size and then gluing and pinning it together. I didn't get a video of it but I did apply a coat of polycrylic. Um, it just gives a nice finish to old wood like this. And the nice thing about this little stand is you can actually hide the lid underneath it. I always have a thing with that. When I burn a candle, I kind of look around which drawer I could stick the lid in, and then sometimes I you know, almost lose it. And this little stand is available on my Etsy shop. I, of course, only have a certain amount of them listed since I have a limited amount of wood like this, but I think it's such a pretty rustic looking wood. I just love it. These little stands could also be used to hold other things such as plants and if you flip them over they're deeper on the other side and you could use them as a holding container for something. It's kind of nice to see the sofa along the center wall here in the living room again. I had moved it around earlier this year uh, which is always nice to give it a fresh new look. I found this green floral fabric at Zinc's Fabric Outlet the other day. I knew right away I needed to make pillows out of it. It's just the prettiest color of green. And these covers are available on the Etsy shop. Again, just a limited amount since Zinc's only has a limited amount of fabric. Um, I did make them a little bit bigger than the normal pillow covers. Uh, these covers are made to fit a 22 inch pillow insert. But I thought with the design that is on here, it kind of looked better to keep them a little bit on the large side instead of the regular 18 inch. I also have some available in a light orange shade. These would be so pretty for fall. I also have some ticking stripe fabric pillow covers that are new to the Etsy shop. A beautiful green color and then also a blue and these are in the 18 inch size. I'm also getting some table runners made of the same fabric as the pillows, uh, the green and the blue. Uh, such a pretty fabric. I think the green table runner will look great on the dining room table along with some fresh uh, hydrangeas. I managed to find some Annabelle hydrangea blooms that were still uh, white. Uh, most of them had already turned to the more the lime green, which I kind of like that too, but I think for my table I want the white.
such an awesome feeling to have a clean house. I always feel like if the windows are spotless, everything looks clean in here. I didn't get this in the video, but I ended up baking bread today, and I wish I could get the smell to you. But with the bread in the oven and the peach nectar candle burning in the living room, the whole house smelled like fresh baked bread and peach jam. Uh, it smells so good. It just reminds me so much of summer, and peaches are my favorite fruit, so naturally I would gravitate toward a peach nectar candle. Uh, we still have them on the Etsy shop, but probably not for too much longer since we will be getting the fall scents in and we'll be discontinuing some of the summer scents. Make sure to head on over to my Etsy shop if you still want some of these peach candles for the summer. I also wanted to show you guys the artwork we found on our chalkboard wall when we came home from Hawaii. Uh, this is, of course, MB's work. Uh, she's really good with this sort of thing. Um, it's so neat, I just can't bring myself to erase it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. As always, I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.